Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials, I am Koichi Jeezy and in this video we are going to go up against the new Hokura ruler so that is going to be General Galnik. So uh, sorry I actually uh, said his name or pronounced his name actually wrong, it's actually going to be Galnik not Granik. But uh, yeah, so uh, I went over this particular Hokura ruler uh, in a previous video so right over here. So with uh, Galnik right over here, again, this is actually going to be just a standard uh, level 85 uh, advanced class, level 40 special class Hokura. It's not going to have a level 50 uh, Hokura. So with this, again, uh, weapon, physical technique, spell damage are going to be... Um, uh, effective for this particular battle though breath damage is not actually going to be as effective then Mera, Bagi, Gira, Hyaro are going to be the effective attributes with Io not being the effective attribute and then here he will be using confusion so Medapani and then also sudden death which is going to be Zaraki so uh, for this battle uh, since he is going to be weak to Mera damage I'm going to actually have this Mera team so um, this is pretty much just going to be a rare team uh, i actually don't have my guardian angel in this team mainly because I, i'm trying a different strategy uh for this particular battle uh you'll actually i'll actually go over it in a little bit but here uh with my ninja i'm going to have on the demon hammer so that's going to do some very uh good mirror damage to the enemy so uh hopefully uh, the strategy that I do have hopefully works out and then also with this this actually does have a chance to increase the critical hit rate of the uh, demon hammers main ability so hopefully I do get that then here I'm going to have a high priest equipped with the angel rod again um, hopefully I can get some charms and also do some pretty good healing as well also with this particular battle i plan on using the encore ability right at the very beginning so hopefully things do work out there then here with my battle master i'm going to have on the galaxy blade so the galaxy blade is actually quite good so uh going to be using uh for the most part are in the beginning i will be using uh high king slash but after that, I will be using uh, Tensho or Heavenly uh, Hayabusa Giri, so Falcon Slash, so to fight off multiple enemies. So hopefully things do work out there. Then here, I'm going to actually have on the Dragon Staff uh, for this particular battle, since this um, has Dragrum on it, which actually does Mera spell damage to all the enemies and also does uh, physical uh, damage to the enemies as well. So if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. But I now actually want to go into uh, the abilities of uh, Galnik. So right over here. So actually, let's go for a harder one. So uh, here um, with Galnik, Galnik is actually going to be a bird type enemy, going to have around 70,000 HP. Uh, going to have two to three actions per turn uh, in terms of weaknesses, which I've gone over already. Mera, Bagi, Gira, and Hero. Then here uh, for his main ability, his main ability is going to be Zaraki. So with Zaraki, that actually casts instant death on all characters. Though there is most likely it may not hit, but it definitely could hit. And Zaraki could hit all your characters, which would be uh, quite devastating. Just ends the battle right there. But um, he uses this only when his HP is under 50%. After that, he's going to have Boggy Cross. So Boggy Cross is going to be a Boggy spell that does, in this case, around 360 damage to all characters. After that, he's going to have a Merizoma. So with Merizoma, um, the uh, damage, it all depends on your resistances and also your class types. But usually, it's probably going to do around 470 damage, though it could do more, it could do less. Again, depending on resistances. After that, he's going to have a Medopony, which actually casts Confusion on one character. And then he's also going to have a Bikimi uh, Senko, which is Spooky Light. So this actually um, lowers the spell resistance of one character by one rank. 
After that, uh, General uh, Gelnik is actually going to be joined by two Iron Demons. So the Iron Demons are going to be inanimate objects. They'll have two actions per turn. Their weaknesses are going to be Boggy, Meta, Dane, and Gibadia. So uh, Boggy and Dane are going to, or Boggy and Mera are going to be the matching attributes here. So uh, for this, uh, their attacks are going to be uh, Samidare Giri, which is Tetra Slash. So that's going to be doing, I'd say, around 200 uh, uh, physical damage to uh, random enemies four times. So um, that could actually be uh, quite devastating, uh, especially if, if it's not so random and just on one character. Then it's also going to have a Kabuto Wari, which is an armor break that does around 280 uh, damage to uh, one character. It also has a chance to, to lower their uh, defenses as well. Then uh, they're going to have a Sekuruto, which actually increases the defenses of all characters. After that, they're going to have a Shield, which increases their guard rate or increases their guard rate by one rank. Then after that, they're going to have a Cover uh, Cabal. So with that, um, they actually take the damage of another character um, onto them onto themselves. So they usually use this on Galnik himself. Then after that, they're going to have a regular attack that does about 200 damage to a uh, character. So for this battle, um, uh, the main strategy, what I'm going to try to do is actually try to defeat Gelnik in the first turn using the High King Sword. So with that, I'm going to um, try to hopefully get a critical hit and also direct hit as well. And then pretty much with Encore, um, pretty much just going to boost up my character uh, with uh, super gathered strength then uh, pretty much uh, encore and attack so hopefully I actually do get to do that then uh, pretty much another strategy would be to do damage to all enemies in order to get um, or to take out the iron demons about the same time so that actually would help out then also um, pretty much uh, put up resistances to uh, sudden death so it's going to be harder to get it on you and then also equip souls and uh, soul pearls that do damage or have resistances to bird type enemies so uh, hopefully the strategy that I just mentioned actually does work out I actually have pretty good confidence with this team so with that said here we go okay so here we go with this battle so first, definitely going to be my ninja. And, ooh, okay. I probably should have... Okay, he has actually attacked Yelnik. I was actually a bit worried about that. But here, what I'm going to do is I will actually go ahead... Use Super Gather Strength. And then here, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and use Encore. And uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and use Hiking Slash. So hopefully, this actually can take out Gelnik. Uh, no, but uh, close to 3,000 damage is not so bad either. And Gelnik is actually under um, uh, half of its health. So um, yeah, so that actually did work out. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to... Hmm, so here, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Dragon Power. Okay, there goes Skurto. Regular attack, that missed. Regular attack. Okay, there goes uh, Cover. So um, here, what I will have to do is I'm going to actually go ahead, just attack. It's probably going to go ahead and hit the, um, yeah, the uh, Iron Demon there. So here, what I'll do is I will go ahead and here, let's see, Chant of Magical Echoes.
So pretty much uh, the Iron Demon on the left took all that damage. Here comes another attack there. So here what I'll do is... Um, hmm. Here I'm actually going to use Battle Demon Release. Most likely, um, this is going to use, um, yes, this attack here, so Heavenly Falcon Slash. So uh, that one Iron Demon is down, so here we're going to use Encore. And here got a nice uh, attack there, so... Uh, so, ooh, okay, so there goes Zaraki. So uh, my High Priest was uh, taken out. So my healer's taken out, So and I can't use items. But um, Gelnik is actually uh, almost out uh, in terms of HP. So uh, I should... Ooh, okay. Um, I probably should be okay here. Probably the Iron Demon's going to get taken out here. Let's see what happens. Or no. Oh, no. That was on Gelnik. Um, Gelnik gets taken out. So here, just going to go ahead and auto battle. So increase his guard rate with... Um, big shield. But now here I have a... Um, next, I'm actually going to have a god chain. So most likely... This character could be done right here. Yes. Okay. So the Gelnik uh, Hokura is worth uh, 31,000 uh, XP. So that's quite a bit. And Gelnik is going to be a green soul. And here I got a D. Okay, so um, with that battle, I was not expecting uh, to get hit with uh, Zaraki, especially with my healer. So um, pretty much taking my healer out is just uh, for any uh, battle is actually quite bad. But um, here I was actually able to survive mainly because uh, Gelnik was actually almost down. So I was actually able to take him out with my God Hand. So everything did actually work out with this uh, particular team. Uh, in terms of trying to take him out in the first round, um, I wasn't able to get a critical hit nor... Um, a uh, direct hit so um, that really didn't stack up but um, there are probably other times where there are probably other chances where I could actually try this strategy out and it can probably work but um, I'll probably do that uh, off video though but uh, yeah everything with that said uh, pretty much uh, for this Hokura ruler I'll probably only make uh, one more other video so that will be using a boggy based team so please stay tuned for that and also with that video I probably will have the S grade soul by then as well so uh, yeah with that said I'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if you would like to see more please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video